Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video tutorial on basic make game tactics. Today we will begin a new section on the use of the uh, cannon on the bot rank to initiate a kill. Now the combinations are many uh, and it is a very practical skill to use especially if, uh, when you plan to uh, do a flank attack. Uh, please read the uh, Please read the notes uh, at the beginning of the video, and without further ado, let us begin. Uh, now, this uh, in this bot, it will be Red's turn to move. So, uh, a quick analysis will show that Red would have one cannon already on the bot rank and two chariots, a full guard, three pawns. Black would have slightly more material with one cannon, two chariots, and the extra horse. He would also have an extra pawn and a full guard. Now, uh, in this board, the red chariot and the cannon are now poised to attack the black king. However, uh, red would need to find a way to maneuver this chariot, this to somewhere near to the palace so that he could initiate a kill. <coughs> so usually, the first move would be to play R2 plus 9 for a check, forcing the advisor to move. Uh, uh, and the next move would be to play R8 plus 8 to the enemy pawn rank. Now, when the chariots and cannons are placed in the bottom rank and the third rank respectively, uh, this is quite a powerful entity and there are many things that this combination can do. So at this point in time, let's say red plays A4 plus 5 to prevent the chariot from crossing over. Uh, this would be the best move. If he played H7, uh, sorry, C7 minus 2, Red would simply play e R8 equals to 4 to block the elephant from protecting the cannon. And if the cannon moved, for example, in this situation, if the cannon moved, this would be an immediate checkmate. So, and if it did not move, in this case, uh, Red would simply capture the cannon and follow by cap capturing the uh, advisor for the final win. He could also capture the cannon with his cannon, etc. Depending on the situation, deliver different uh, different checks to for checkmate. So, a4 plus 5 is what commonly seen, and let's say red will play r2 minus 1, forcing the f forcing the cannon back. Now, again, this would be the same if he played, if he retreated the elephant. Red will continue with the same moves. Check. Check main. If otherwise, check main. So R7 minus 2. Again, Red will play R2 equals to 4. Forcing the king out. And black would force take the central pawn. This will be the throat cutting checkmate technique. Uh, please review the basic kill section on my website. Forcing the king, uh, forcing the horse to capture it. The cannon, the advisor cannot capture the uh, the chariot. Otherwise, the ch cannon will be delivering a check. And once this is done, because the horse has no cannot move in time. It cannot protect this intersection. Red will deliver a checkmate with this uh, in such a manner, using the cannon to protect the chariot to deliver a checkmate. This would be a smarter checkmate. So a quick review: the check, retreat, a plus eight, a four plus five. If r seven minus four, r c seven minus two, sorry, red will traverse the chariot and prepare to kill. R2 minus 1, and this is a very important technique. C7 minus 2, file, capture, and checkmate. So, I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Uh, I think it's very beneficial for beginners, especially if they are still not very sure about Shang-Chi. These are some of the tactical combinations that you can use. So if you like the work that I've been doing, please do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.